Hey guys, I want to do some calculus and I really like this problem because it has an unexpected conclusion. Hopefully you're surprised and like it as much as I do. It says find dy dx when y is equal to 2 sine squared of x over 2. If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. First step, in order to use chain rule, I'm going to rewrite this like this. I'm going to put the sine of x over 2 inside parentheses and square that. It means the exact same thing as this step, but it's going to make using chain rule a little bit easier for me. So now let's take a dy dx. First, we have this constant 2 out front, I want to keep it out front. So our whole derivative is just going to be multiplied by 2. Next, we're going to leave this sine of x over 2 alone, and we're going to take the derivative around it. This 2 is going to be brought to the front, and then we're going to subtract 1 from it. And then because of the chain rule, we're going to multiply all this by the derivative of the inside here. For now, we're going to leave the x over 2 alone, and the derivative of sine is equal to cosine. And then we're going to multiply all that by this derivative of x over 2. And the derivative of x over 2 is equal to 1 half. Let's clean up this derivative. 1 half times 1 of these 2's just goes away, so we're just left with a single 2. 2 minus 1 is just 1, so this is just sine x over 2. And then we can bring down the cosine of x over 2. So this is a great answer, and if you stop here, I would probably give you full credit on a test. But I want to show you something cool. This simplifies to an unexpected conclusion. If we do some theta substitution, set theta equal to this x over 2, we can rewrite the derivative as 2 sine theta cosine theta. What's cool about that, this is the exact expression in the double angle identity, where 2 sine theta cosine theta is equal to sine of 2 theta. So that means instead of 2 sine theta cosine theta, we can write this as sine of 2 theta. And then we can substitute x over 2 in for theta, and that simplifies to sine of x. So the derivative of y equals 2 sine squared of x over 2 is sine of x. Isn't that neat? You might be thinking, wait, isn't the derivative of negative cosine also equal to sine of x? And that's true. Here's a graph of both of them right here. And you can see why their derivatives are equal because the slope on each of them at every given point is the exact same, but they are not the same graph. Pretty cool, huh? So in conclusion, the derivative of this is equal to sine of x. And we can put a box around it. If you guys want to try more calculus stuff, I have this page on andymath.com. The link is in the description. There's lots of practice problems and it's all free. How exciting.